Hello, welcome to Lesson 7, Exercise 1, Mastering Java. Here we're going to create four strings. The first string is going to say roses are red, comma. The second one will have a space and say violets are blue, period. The third will say space, sugar is sweet, comma, and then another space. And the fourth one will have a space and I love you. So it's a common little rhyme here, but instead of putting it all in one sentence, we'll break it up into four separate strings. And then we want to print out the rhyme using a single print line function or statement that uses all four of the strings above. So we have our main method here and here we have declared and initialized all four of these strings. Now they look a little different. Uh, I call them phrase one, two, three, and four. Phrase one and two are, um, created using the kind of the way that you declare an object um, in Java and that's because strings are objects in Java and the second way here is sort of more uh, shorthand notation any of the ways that you see here is perfectly fine to declare a string there's multiple ways to do it so the first way here is we've got uh, we're saying that we're creating a string we're naming it phrase one and we're assigning into that guy a new object of type string and we're initializing it with this phrase here. So whatever is in between the quotes, including the comma, including the space, is what's going to be kind of um, put into this string that we have here. And the second one here, phrase two, is a new string object, and we have this phrase here. So the top two ways here is very common that you would see strings um, uh, created and initialized in this way. This kind of emphasizes the fact that strings are objects. This looks just like instantiating an object uh, earlier when we were talking about objects. Now phrase three and four is a little bit of a more of a shorthand way. Um, so here we have, we're telling uh, Java that we're, uh, we want a string object, we're naming it phrase three, and we just set it equal to, in the quotes, uh, whatever we want. So sugar is sweet with a space and a comma there and put a semicolon. So Java knows that whenever you assign uh, something between quotations to a to a, a, a object of type string here, it, it knows to go ahead and do the new string. Basically what you're doing is you're substituting the kind of the uh, longer version of the declaration here with something a little bit shorter. So probably if you looked at a lot of code out there, you'd see something closer to this most of the time. I'm doing it here to show you both different ways. And so we create um, the string in phrase four as well. Now we go down and uh, you can use these strings that you've created just like any other string in a print line function. So normally inside of this guy, you would put quotation marks and whatever text that you want to print to the screen. But since phrase one now contains some text, it contains a string, we can just stick it in there uh, just like we always do. You just need to link the names with plus signs just like we always do when we're printing out integers or anything of that nature. And now that we've kind of explained what's going on here, let's hit the run guy and we'll see roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and I love you. And now you can see why I put a space here after the comma and that is so I would have a space after that comma. I put a space after that period for the same reason, so I would have a space there. If we take those spaces out, then your text becomes compressed and so on. So just a quick little example to get you practice with uh, creating strings. Uh, strings are objects in Java, uh, so it's a little bit different to think about in Java than you would if you're a C programmer or a C++ programmer, but the, the concept is basically the same. You're creating this guy that's going to hold a sequence of characters, uh, and once you have that, you can print them out to the screen, just as we've done here. 